Okay, another algorithm question. Number seven, develop an algorithm using either pseudocode or a flowchart, we'll use pseudocode, that allows a taxi company to calculate how much a taxi fare should be. The algorithm should prompt the user to enter the journey distance in kilometers. The distance entered must be greater than zero. The user should be made to re-enter the distance until the distance entered is valid. Now the fact it's asking you to keep on asking until they've entered a distance that's more than zero indicates it should go round and round and keep asking. And each time it goes round, it should keep asking. Now we don't know how many times the person's going to get it wrong. So that's indefinite iteration. And the best way to do indefinite iteration is to use while. Then we're going to prompt the user to enter a number of passengers. So that's going to be a user input. We're going to calculate the taxi fare, two pounds for every passenger. So we're going to have to multiply the number of passengers by two. One pound fifty for every kilometer. Well, we asked for the kilometers earlier. So we're going to times that by 1.5 and add the two things together and output at the end. OK, let's see what we can do. So first of all, we're going to ask for a journey distance in kilometers. So I'm going to call that variable distance. Distance, we're going to ask for user input. So that's going to be assigned to that variable, user input assigned to distance. Now, remember, we're going to need to keep asking until they get the distance right. So as long as the distance is uh, less than or equal to zero, we're going to keep asking again. So while distance is less than or equal, because equal to zero is important, as long as they keep asking, as long as, sorry, as long as the distance keeps being put in as less than or equal to zero, then we'll ask again. So what we'll do is in that while loop, we'll ask them again. If you want to, you could output that they've made an error, but it doesn't specifically tell you to do that. But And then we're going to end while here. Let's see how that's going to work. It's going to ask for a distance in the user input. It's going to check the distance. If the distance is less than or equal to zero, then it will ask again. But if that's fine, if the distance isn't less than or equal to zero, it will just jump straight over this and onto the next stage. It will only do this if they enter an incorrect distance. Right, we can now move on to the next part. Now we're going to put in the number of passengers. Well, I'm going to call that passengers. And again, we're going to be asking for user input. OK, so now it's time for us to work out the fares. So we charge two pounds for every passenger. So we can work out the passenger part of the fare. I'm going to call that P fare. So P fare is worked out by saying two pounds for every passenger. So that will be two times the number of passengers. Take the number of passengers, multiply it by two, and that goes into the P fare. We've then got the distance. We're told that £1.50 for every kilometre. So we've entered distance. So I'm going to call that D fare for distance. D fare is 1.5 times distance. £1.50 times the distance in kilometres. All we have to do then is add the two together. So fare is assigned to be P fare plus D fare. And last of all, output the fare. So let's check once again that we've actually achieved what we set out to do. 
prompt the user to enter the journey distance. Yes, we've asked for that there. The distance must be greater than zero. Well, we've said if the distance is less than or equal to zero, the user should be made to re-enter the distance. So if they put in the wrong distance, we'll ask them again. Prompt the user to enter the number of passengers. That's there. Then calculate the fare. P fare is two times the number of passengers. D fare, 1.5 times the distance. Add the two together to give us our total fare. And then last of all, output the fare. Eight marks.